What's up, my peoples? Welcome to another episode of True Talk, where you get that biblical motivation. I am your boy, Tweez. In the last episode I gave y'all was the only true source of peace is the Holy Spirit is the only true source of peace. So that was uh, chapter 12, episode 4. This new episode right here is still chap episode 12, chapter 5, okay? Chapter 5 is the Holy Spirit affects relationships. So if you don't have the Bible, go download it on Google Play, right? Or go on your Apple Store and download it. And I want to give y'all some other books y'all can read. And y'all might want to read yourself uh, the Cypher or the Torah. They got them in Hebrew or they got them in English language, which y'all can learn. So go check them out, my brothers and sisters. Wake up, Israel. So subscribe, go to Child Entertain TV. Bless that like button. Go watch the other episodes of True Talk so you can get some of that biblical motivation and growth and knowledge in the most high God. So we about to get straight into it, man. The first chapter we finna rock. Matter of fact, the first book we finna get into is 2 Timothy. We gonna go to uh, the third chapter, fifth verse. Okay, having a form of godliness, but denying the power that forth from such turn away. So that part right there is really is 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 deep, and the reason why it's deep because you might have your brothers and sisters might be out here showing a form of godliness, saying they believe in God with their lips, but their actions is truly not showing them that they believe in the Most High Yah. So they might say, okay. I'm praising him, I'm doing this. You know, I might be preaching the word and everything. But at the end of the day, they your actions show truly if you are with the most high y'all. Now, if you just only showing a formula God just only with your lips, you see a lot of people do that in the world where they speak and say, Oh, I love God, but everything and all the actions that they do is not a form of godliness. If you truly love the most high, you're gonna worship and glorify him and you're gonna repent from your sins. And you're going to follow his ways and live it accordingly. You're going to live righteousness. You're not going to say you love the most high God. And then you're going to the club. Or you're going to smoke. Or you're going to drink. Or you're going to get high. That's a form of the frame of godliness right there. And uh, the reason why the Holy Spirit affects your relationship in ways. Because when you are living a holy and righteous life. life I'm going to tell you. People that's not living other father the most high they're not going to want to be around you but you pray for those right so they can be in tune and be where you at don't judge them so let's go to uh the next verse i want to show y'all is second timothy 2 and 23 let's go second go say uh second timothy uh second chapter we're gonna go to the 23rd verse let's read it said, call on the Lord out of a pure heart. That's just the beginning of that. 23rd to say, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strife. So the most high want us to avoid these strives and these arguable, how can I say, arguable questions with people that sell foolishness. And the reason why he said that, and this is based on our relationship, because it takes two to come up with a conversation or might cause strife to argue. Now, a person might say some things that's meaningful or out of order or to make that person's emotions rise and where he becomes angry. That's why it's good to always be patient or be having meanings. Do not come at people in a form of hatred, negativity, right? So it's good for us to come together out of love when we're speaking to a person, not to do things out of strife. If you're going to tell somebody about yourself, always do it out of, out of love. But sometimes you have people that might have pride in them. And this is where the next chapter I'm about to read to you. So we're going to go to uh, Proverbs 14 and 7. Let's go to Proverbs 14 and 7. Let's see if it's right on Y'all know what it is. Thanks and instructions before leaving this earth, man. You got to get in the word of Yahuwah so you can live a holy and righteous life and live according to him and not of self. 
We live of self, and we live in the flesh, we live in the world. When you're not living in the word, that's when you have problems, big problems. So let's go to chapter 14. Let's get y'all feeding y'all today. Let's take it all in, baby. Let's take it all in. It's a blessing, man. Yahoo's word is a blessing. Uh, 14 chapter, 7 verse. It said, go from the presence of foolish men when they perceive not in him the lips of knowledge. So, the Most High is really actually telling you right there, anytime when you hear people, communications is not of knowledgeable and not is speaking of Elohim and it's just cussing and fussing and just talking any kind of uh, far ways. The Most High do not let us to be around foolish people and com com company of people in the former ways. We're going to read all the way down. It said, look at this, uh, the eight verses, that the wisdom of our, uh, our prudence is to understand his ways, but the folly of fools is deceit. So that he said, man, a, a person that's a foolishness, he already followed their folly. And like he, his mind is not there. And you might be speaking to him. That's going to cause y'all to argue. That he don't want you to be around people of ignorance, of foolishness, because they do not have, okay, how can I say, a form of guidance, not a form of guidance, but having a, a spirit of the Holy Spirit to be of good and patient and being me. So the, they have a form of uh, the devil, which we here take over their mind, a carnal mindset, you would say. So let's go to, we're going to read it all the way through, all the way down. Fools make a mock as sin, but among the righteous there is favor. So a person that's so bad, he 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 mock sin, knowing that he's sinning and thinking it's all good that he's sinning, he'll brag on that type of situation like, oh, it's all good. But a righteous person gonna correct him in a way, you know, tell him like, man, that ain't what it is. That ain't how we supposed to live to be living for the Most High Yahweh. So that's the ways that the Holy Spirit will affect relationship. Because you want to live a holy and, and, and righteous life, you know what I'm saying, and do things that's the right. That's just like, yo, okay, you're trying to change your ways, and you're trying to come out of the world completely. you giving it all, Yahoo, your heart, mind, soul, and spirit, man, flat out. I mean, not not straying away. Because that sheep, there's a lot of sheep that's asleep that got to be waking. So you saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the club no more. I'm not smoking, I'm not drinking, I'm not partying. I'm all, that's, that's life is of the world. It's not of, of Elohim, of Yahweh Elohim. It's of the devil. It's, they don't have nothing to do with the Most High. And that's where the form is. He say, of oh, godliness come, you you speak. Your lips say, oh, I love God. But your actions is be far from me and you're doing things that's not of the other kingdom. So let's go down here. Okay, let's go all the way. We're on uh, verse 9. Fools make a mark, uh, a mark as sin. But among the righteous there is favor. And the heart know of his own bitterness. That's 10 verse. And a stranger does not, right, entertainment with his joy. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish, right? It said, There is a way which seem upright unto a man, but at the end, therefore, are the ways of death. So, that is just letting Yahweh just Elohim just letting you know right there. Like if that person of wickedness, you can't hang amongst them. You just can't. It won't work. You ever put light and darkness? Light and darkness just can't be in a room because light gonna outshine that, right? Well, if you put a person in a room with a good and a bad person, what's gonna happen? That good person's gonna start to what? Do what he do because you're right. It's just like you putting a okay. You put a person that's in a room that's a drug dealer, and our person is a simple man probably working. But I bet you if you keep continue to hang around this individual, he gonna become like the next man. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. Be careful. That's why the Most High Yah want us to live according for His riches and righteousness and glory, and to only live for Him, not by saying it with our lips, but our actions have to play a part. He didn't send Yahushua Hamashiach to die on the cross for your sins. So you can go back to damnation, to not being free. He broke the bondage. He broke the curse. So we can live according to his riches and glory only. And we should only serve Yahushua HaMashiach. That's it. 
But we in our relationship, I don't care if it's mother, father, sister, brother, best friend. If they're not living for the most high, and they just living in wickedness, just living in things of the world, and they can't accept for who you are or try to take change within themselves to repent and come from their sins, it's not meant for you to be around them. I didn't say you couldn't, you know, go and talk to them about the most high and teach them something, but you can only hang with them for so long. Until you become corrupt. So this is what it is. And this is on his word we stand by. So if you just speaking the formally of God inside of your lips and your actions not showing, who are you? Are you a child of the most high Yah or you a child of Satan? That he said, choose why he said, choose who you should serve this day. Either Yah who Elohim or Satan. And I just say this to my brothers and sisters so y'all can wake up. Israel, let's wake up. Let's find out who we are. Know who you are in the most high Yah. And praise him. Glorify him. Live him. Live his commandments. Keep his statures. I pray for those that get knowledge. And I'm going to leave y'all on this last scripture right here. Okay. How the Holy Priest, holy, how the Holy Spirit can increase patience. And I'm going to give you 2 Timothy 2 and 24. Y'all read that for yourselves. Y'all have a blessing, my brothers and sisters. This was another episode of True Talk. Go subscribe. Go to Child Entertainment TV. Bless that like button. It's your boy. Peace.